Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be configuring vCenter server appliance, also known as vCSA. This is video three in the VMware playlist. So if you guys are ready for some fun, let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. But before that, remember, please like, subscribe, and share. And please, if you're starting out at this very video, please start from video one. Actually, video one is setting up Windows Server so you can get DNS and all that stuff configured prior to even installing ESXi servers so we get all the communication and everything configured. So let's jump onto the desktop and install this bad boy. All right, so we are on my desktop now. So let me minimize everything. And before we get started with this, I have my domain controller open and running and then I have my ESXi one running, okay? Just to show you guys what's going on. And what we have to do, I know this is super small. Let me actually make this a little bigger. I had someone ask me about the resolution. So let me try to make this like 200. Maybe that's a lot better, okay? So this is my DNS. So for the VCSA, we're gonna have to make a DNS entry. So let's just do that now. Let's go ahead and make an A record, VCSA. I'm just gonna put VCSA, that should be fine. And then my IP address for my VCSA, let's see what we can make that. What is everything else? So I wanna make it 60. 192.168.100.60. I think we should be good there. 60, okay. So that should be good. Make sure everything looks good. Yep, and allow any, yep, that's fine. Good to go. And we are good. VCSA is there. So now we have, I have the VCSA ISO on my machine and I just mounted it to my virtual machine. So if you guys aren't familiar how to do that, just grab the ISO, throw it into your virtual machine and double click on it and it should mount it. And once you get it mounted, you should go to VCSA UI installer and then system uh, Win32, sorry, and then installer. So let's double click on this installer. And this whole process should probably take around 25 minutes or so, so just be patient and uh, watch until the end and let's make sure everything is working. Fingers crossed, all right? So if you're trying to upgrade it, you can upgrade, migrate, restore, but we're doing a brand new install, so this is what we have to do. All right, so we can deploy. This is stage one, there's two stages. So let's go ahead and click on next here. I accept. I don't want to try to, I don't want to talk too much. So my ESXi uh, host IP, so this is going to be the target IP, right? So let's go ahead and 192.168.100, I think it's 51 in my case. This is my ESXi host, right? Uh, this is, oh, this is the name, sorry, VCSA dot infosec pat dot local all right so my username i can just do root and my password my fancy password okay so this is where it's going to be deployed to the vcenter target right this is the deployment where the vm of the vcenter is going to sit so it's going to sit inside of let's log into this whoa this is really big Let's try to make this a little smaller. And let's try to log in here as root, just to show you guys. Okay. So right now, we have zero VMs, right? And another note, but we'll get to that in a sec. Let me, let me not get ahead of myself. All right, so now we put out password. Let's go ahead and hit next. See if, oh, I'm so silly. That's not gonna work. I literally just said what I, what I was going to do, and this is not going to connect because it's not going to find that server. Um, I guess we have to wait for it to fail. I was saying ESXi01, and I literally showed that, and that's what I meant to put here. ESXi01. Is it dash 01 or 01? 01. Okay. Dot infosec path, uh, yeah, dot infosec path dot local. So this is it right here, right? Now let's see if we bring this up over here. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to make it too big. So let's go ahead and hit next here. Now we can go ahead and hit yes. Now it's going to validate because that server exists. All right. So we'll give that a second to validate. 
And now this is what I meant. This is where I meant to put the VCSA. VCSA, right? So this is I mean my if you click on this little thing, you can put, you know, a name up to 80 characters and then my root password. And then I'm going to confirm it. I wonder if I should just do for VM name. Let's see if I can put No, I'm just going to put VCSA. Let's just see if that works. Okay. So for deployment, you know, just for this lab, we can do small, four CPUs, 21 gigs of RAM, you know, 694 of storage up to 100 hosts. That's way overkill for this little lab. And so we can just go ahead and hit small here. And the default size is fine for me, right? And that's pretty much it. So here, so if you don't have a storage here if because this is going to be a problem and i had to pre-configure this prior to this video so this vca disk right what you need to do what i did right what i did was let me go back to here let's go to storage what i did i have a usb hard drive that i plugged into my desktop and i mounted it to my via uh, esxi01 so let me go to settings here and I know this is super tiny. You may have to zoom in, I'm sorry. Uh, so right here, we have a hard disk two, 1,000 gigs. This is where that's pointing to, okay? So yeah, so just make sure you get the, I just named it VCSA disk for the sake of this video in this lab, okay? Just to clarify things, I just wanna make sure you guys see that, okay? And I wanna go ahead and enable thin disk mode and you can see here, this is this thin provision disk. This is, you know, it's not pre-allocated. That should be fine here. Okay, let's go ahead and go to next. And we, we only have one v, uh, VM, net, uh, VM network right now, IPv4. I want to do static. And my fully qualified domain name, this is optional. This is going to be VCSA. Dot, so VCSA.infosecpat.local, right? And my IP address is going to be 60, right? 192.168.100.60 because that's what I subnet mask is going to be 24 bits and my gateway is going to be dot two okay and DNS server my first one is going to be my my uh, my DNS server which is 100 I believe yep that's that's what my DNS is and then my secondary DNS I wonder if I can just do comma. Uh, how do I add multiple DNS servers? Uh, that's fine. All right, so the common ports, port 80, obviously HTTP, 443 for HTTPS, and we should click on next. And that looks all good in the hood. Perfect. Let's go ahead and hit finish. And this is with a part that's probably gonna take about 10, 15 minutes. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and resume once this is done. So obviously this is not the right time. Let me see if I can fix the time here. And I, hmm, I'm in Easter. Is it six? Oh yeah, it is six. My bad. It's just so dark out. It feels like it's 930. All right, cool deal. So this is 2%. It's 624 now. Let's see how long it takes. I'll resume once it's done. Thanks folks. All right, everyone. So I did run into some problems. And I'm going to showcase what those problems were. Or I guess I'll just tell you. I'm not sure if I can showcase it. I was running multiple hypervisors on my local computer. So I had just had to disable Hyper-V, go into add and remove programs, and then go turn off the feature, reboot the whole computer, and I had to start this whole thing over. If you remember, I think I started at 6.34 and it gave me an error and I had to start it all over. So maybe you don't have that problem, but I was testing some things out with some other hypervisors and it caused me to have an error. But now we're back up and running. Stage one is done and we can go ahead and access it here. I'm actually gonna copy this. I can copy it, let me see. And just go out to there. There we go. And hit okay advance and we can see that we're able to get to it now let me log into it with my fancy password and here we go all right so 
let, let's go ahead and continue here and start stage two, okay? So let's move this up, go ahead and hit next here. Time synchronization mode, I wanna just sync the time with my local ESXi host. SSH access, I wanna have that disabled or deactivated, I don't need that. And I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible because hopefully it doesn't hiccup again. And uh, so right now I'm just gonna use vSphere.local, that should be fine for me. Uh, let me make sure. Yep. Uh, dot local. And then administrator, my password, I'll just make my fancy password. All right. So let me just take a snippet of this really quick, just so I have it. I just had it like literally, I rebooted everything. So I literally lost everything. So let me just a little snippet of this. And then let me open that in my other screen just so I can have it for uh, reference sake. All right, so I can reference to that. Let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, I don't want to join that. That's fine. And this is everything perfect. Let's hit finished. Okay. And now we can probably see that now over here. We refresh this. We can see the same thing, right? So this is gonna continue this process. And hopefully this doesn't take too long, right? So we'll pause it, or I'll, we'll pause the video and I'll resume once stage two is done. All right, guys, All right, thank you. Okay, so this is stage two. This is stage two that's complete. So we can go ahead and start the, let's go ahead and just click that. We can open up there, that's fine. Let's go ahead and hit advance. Let's click continue. And we can launch this just like we did the other one. Let's go ahead and close this. So now, first, let's go ahead and log into the vCenter manager, right? So I want to go ahead and log in to my vCenter manager. Where did I put my, uh, I think it was just root, I think. Let's check. Yep. So now we can see this, right? We can see uh, summary, monitor, access, networking. So pretty much the access, you can see SSH disabled and everything else, the console is enabled. And you can see my DNS servers is my domain controller, status is up and firewall, there's no firewalls, time and services. These are gonna be all the services that are on, updates just in case you wanna update your, your server or your vCenter manager. And you can see the history, no updates. We can see if there's any available, it'll check in. And let's keep going down. Administration, uh, administration, syslog, backups, and all that good stuff, right? So this is pretty much the management. So now let's go to the vSphere. Let's launch this, okay? And this is what we're gonna log in with the admin, administrator at vSphere.local. All right, so let's go ahead and administrator, right? Uh, yep, at vSphere, right? V S P E R E dot local, and then my fancy password. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and log in. I know what I'm doing. It should log in, and we should get access to our vSphere. All right, so vSphere client. We'll give this a moment to log in. Boom. Manage licensing. We can X out of here. Let's see if we can. Uh, search around. So we can see that here is our uh, our client or our VM. So now let's go out to VM1. Let's uh, go ahead and refresh this. So now I'm on ESXi1. So we have a virtual machine here, right? You see that is our VCSA. So we click on this, we can see the VCSA right here. Right, and you can sh it'll show us how to get to it and everything. So 192.168.100.60 is my IP, and we can see everything there. All right, cool. All right, so let's X out of here. So that's our first virtual machine that we have installed. Well, let's come back here for a second, and let's just cruise around here for a minute. So we can go to monitor. We can go to configure. Uh, everything in here, like your databases, your licensing, and you know, this is just an eval, just for testing, right? So uh, vCenter HA, 
high availability. And you know, you can just tinker around. You can see vSAN. I don't have any vSAN set up. But then you can go to permissions. You can see everyone that has permissions, data centers. You know, we haven't had any uh, videos yet on data centers, but you can see that hosting clusters, VMs, so on and so forth, data stores, networks, etc. Right. So then we can click in here. We can see the uh, VCSA dot local. You can see data stores, networks, and there. You know, pretty much there's nothing configured. This is our first one. So we can see here. Updates available, you know, let's disregard that, who cares? Disregard, no. All right, so we can see here that, you know, the updates, backups, upgrade plugins, pre-checks, images, baselines, VMware tools, VMware hardware, etc. All right, so you can see that, you know, we have it installed, everything is good to go. So nothing is set up yet. So that's pretty much how you get the vSphere, uh, the VCSA installed and configured. So hopefully that's been informative for you guys. And I'm sorry for the long video, but if you watch it to the end, hopefully you got it installed and configured. Wait till the next video and we're gonna have some more fun. Thank you.